Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you so much for being able to see the signs that are coming towards your way, being able to re resonate with higher levels um, and being able to heal in all you know, put the effort towards healing, towards many things that has put, been put in your path. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many love, uh, many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and headed you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the video is giving you good information or even good vibes uh, that you feel like a loved one or you know, loved one, family or friend um, would love to hear, even a fellow empath that are really going through some dark times right now and you know, have questions or concern about their life path or soul path or even their life journey, please go ahead and share it while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And I hope you're able to resonate with the video. And thank you so much for the love and support you've been giving me. It's so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart for that. So today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to is 528 hertz music for the soul tones of healing light music for tranquility harmony and positive energy and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas make time for soul strengthening self-care and bettering your mental health i was like why haven't i did a video about this uh, before, but I guess my daughter, my middle daughter, my little mini me, um, she was doing a podcast um, with a couple of people talking about mental health, especially when it comes to people of color. But you know, it's just all of us. It doesn't matter what you know, culture or religion or ethnic background you have or whatever. You just you always have to make time for yourself for the soul strengthening and self-care and you know being able to heal from things that has caused you you know mental labels if they want to call it that from you being in a tra traumatic situation um it's just with us being empaths we always are trying to help people like we're like super saver super saver empath or whatever super save the world and all that stuff um that there's a lot of times we become drained we become overwhelmed um being able to collect all the energy in the world can be so overwhelming. You know, I give props to anybody, you know, that deals with a lot of things, you know, especially with empaths, you know, we come in so many forms. You know, there's EMT workers, doctors, lawyers, therapists, uh, nurses, you know, all these things that we do to help the world you know, make it a better place, that, you know, we take on things like the whole world is built on our shoulders, and there's a lot of times we give out so much energy that when it comes time for self, you don't have anything, you know, um, I remember when I first started doing this, you know, when I, when I started making like four or five videos a day, six, seven videos, there's time I did like 12 videos in one day, you know, um, covering so many different contents and you know so many different parts of Heokas or indigos infjs white witches twin flames uh just so many different things <laughs> you know it's just like when you because you carry so many we're, we're multi-talented you know we're multi not multi-talent well we're multi-talented and multi-gifted so we play so many roles in our life and it it can become time consuming you have to be able to take care of yourself when you know on a daily basis you always have to take time for yourself because a lot of times we're always there for ourselves you know and there's not a lot of people who are going to have our back like we have their back or like we can have our back but it's just that time you know we sometimes we put 
what we're struggling with aside to be able to help other people along their journey, along their, their road. Um, being able to do that, you have to be able to take care of yourself, being able to make sure you're mentally stable on every aspect, being able to heal at every aspect, being able to let go of things on every aspect, being able to heal, doing that soul searching and even soul strengthening because it's just like we are carrying on all that excess baggage from so many past lives. So we have to always take time for ourselves to be able to do things we enjoy. Um, grounding ourselves, you know, uh, stargazing, you know, nature walks, um, meditating, eating the right foods, all these different things you have to be able to do because it's just like we're going through so much and we're clearing so much out, you know, that, that can waste you <laughs> in so many different ways. And that's why there's a lot of times, you know, when I, when I was doing my videos, even like I told y'all before December, I was doing so much. You know, some people are like, Rosalind, when are you going to start doing your live feed? And I'm like, you know what? I need to go ahead and do that. I keep telling y'all to do it. But it's just so many things on my plate right now that I'm doing. And it's just like, since I have evolved in so many different ways, it doesn't take much for me to get drained. It really doesn't. So there's times I can do like six, seven videos. And then I can go back the next day and do another six, seven videos. And the next day and the next day. And then there's like two or three days I got to take off again just to go ahead and recover, recharge, and all that. You have to, oh, excuse me, take time for yourself. And there's sometimes, you know, you have to be able to say no. You know, and I mean, there's a lot of times I hate saying no, but, you know, I have to be able to take care of myself. You know, I say, I tell people I'm just not in the mood to talk today it's like nothing against you but this is the time I need to reflect on my own being able to gather in my thoughts be able to be in my moment because there's so many things that I'm letting go there's so many things I'm still healing from you know and being able to acknowledge a lot of things that you know comes my way because there's so many downloads and upgrades that I constantly get that, you know, sometimes I don't know which way I'm going at times. So, you know, I just really try to make that time out for myself, you know, because it's just like when you're dealing with so many different things, you know, there's people that tell me, Rosalind, I'm bipolar or, you know, I got ADHD or, you know, I'm ADD and all these different things for themselves and, you know, manic depressive, you know, they, they, the doctors have put all these labels on us, but it's just like when you're spiritually gifted like that, and you take on a lot of things, you know, a lot of times they're going to put these labels on you, but it's just you and your gift, you know, and it's just like, yeah, my, me and my father are both ADD, you know, I'll switch, you know, subjects real quick, I'm like, well, dad, Rosalind, you were just talking about this, I, hey, I switch up like that, you know, so I just try not to really label myself as doing that, but it's just like, if I'm trying to explain to you, I'm like, hey, my ADD was acting up, so I jump from this one to just this one. So it's just like you really have to be able to take that time out for yourself. Take that time to reflect. If you need to seek solitude, allow yourself. Listen to what your body is telling you. Because there's a lot of times when I, you know, I want to push myself, you know, saying I can do a little bit more. And there's so many times my body is telling me, girl, if you don't go sit down somewhere or universe will make me sit down, they'll all of a sudden they'll have me my throat chakra will be acting up or, you know, I'll be having these massive headaches and, you know, don't even want to shut everything off and just sit in the dark. And, you know, I go through a lot of things like that. So, you know, you, you have to be able to listen to your body when your body's trying to tell you, hey, you need to take it, take it easy a little bit. You know, you're only one person. You can't save the world by yourself, even though sometimes we act like we can. But, you know, you have to be able to do that for yourself, being able to pay attention to when you need to meditate. You need to take that time out for yourself to do things that you enjoy. And, you know, and self-care is so much, so, so important, you know, and I allow people to do that. Because I remember when I took off in December, I was having so many people say, hey, Rosalyn, we're worried about you, you know. You didn't do nothing for a whole month. It drove me crazy. Anytime I was about to do another video, I mean, I stayed sick. And I'm the type of person, I don't really get sick unless it's like with back aches or headaches. And maybe every once in a while, a sinus infection. I mean, they had me like I was breaking out, having hot and cold flashes, sick as a dog, couldn't even speak. 
you know, going through all these different things, going through psychic attack flus and all those other things. So it's just like, hey, I ain't trying to get back. I'm not trying to go back down that road again. So, you know, if I feel like I'm not up to it and I just don't have that energy in me, I'm going to sit out, you know, because a lot of people are like, Rosalyn, how do you do it? How do you stay positive? Hey, I ain't positive every day because there's, I, I just don't allow y'all to see that, you know, if uh, universe wants me to allow y'all to see the the uncut the raw version of things because they need me to be able to relate with different people to let them know you know you're, it's normal to you know be upset it's normal for you to be you know uh feeling like you're stagnant at times sometimes you can be overwhelmed it's okay to feel that way as long as you don't stay there it's okay to feel that way because we're in human form so of course we're gonna have all these different emotions so you should never beat yourself up for that because there's times i did that you know like get mad like why can't i just let this go why can't i just let this be you know because it has to keep reoccurring until you know you can be able to part ways with those memories, you know. Because there's a lot of things that you're probably dealing with that still kind of, you know, is, is a sore th thorn in your side. It's still a sore thorn in your side that you're still trying to heal from. So give yourself that time, you know. Uh, close yourself off. You know, it's not good to be antisocial. It's just, with me, I'm just like, I don't need to be around a whole bunch of people. I'm just so proud of myself because my baby, my baby, baby is graduating in a few weeks uh, from high school. And I mean, I was so proud of myself. I did not get anxiety being around a whole group of people. It was like at least about 500, you know, parents out there along with their kids. And I mean, usually when I get around a group of people, I get so my anxiety goes straight through the roof because I'm just catching all energy around me but i know i said a prayer on the way up there you know to basically block myself from all that that energy because it's like parents trying to get breakfast tickets to sleep you know to eat with the seniors trying to get the babies you know the the, the children's cap and gown and then you know you got to go stand in another line just to get the tickets uh for the other part of the families to come through so it was a lot that i had to deal with and i'm just like okay i'm doing good didn't have to stay in the line long was in a hurry to get that cap and gown so we flew out there and got that cap and gown so it was like it was a blessing to me i said oh thank god this is over with you know and um and just going through all those different things i was just really proud of myself so it's just like i know i'm evolving you know because any time before that my daughter knows i get very anxious very very anxious on you know being around a, a large group of people so that gives me that practice to do that but you know make sure you be able to take care of your well-being you know that's so important you know do things that you enjoy that you know put you in a high frequency things that make you laugh and you know make you feel like you're alive again because i mean shoot this life is too short to sit up here and be in a low frequency and always moody and miserable all the time you know we're trying to elevate towards something bigger and better we have big blessings coming in our lives so we have to be on that up and up to be able to receive all you know all these things that are coming into your life so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video i've been doing some pretty long videos today because i just started talking and all of a sudden i'm like that it's almost 16 minutes long and it usually if i do anything over 13 minutes i promise you it takes like four or five hours just for it to upload so it's kind of crazy but i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video please give me your feedback on how you feel about your you know your soul strengthening and self-care and you know taking care of your mental health because you know those things are very important for us to be able to you know head over to the next level so like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line so i can be able to give you a shout out on my next video uh give me a thumbs up share you know and hit that bell for the notification and um let me give my post notification shout out let me see who am i gonna give today Trap Town and uh, Amber G and Donald J, much love to you. And Lisa McDevitt, much love to you as well as, and Lisa Johnson as well. Um, and I will talk to y'all in my next video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe week. Be responsible for everything you do. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Much love.